So if we think of the 20th century as the age of electronics, the 21st century is going to be the age of photonics. We use photonics everywhere. You don't even realize it. Photonics is used in sensing, it's used in healthcare. Photonics shows up in your supermarkets and in your car. Without optical fibers, we would not have an internet. Photonics is basically the way we use light, we manipulate it, we generate it, we control it, and we harness its power to do all sorts of things. Almost everything we do with regard to any form of information is dependent upon light and light-based technologies. In the UK, there's currently an investment of, I think, £270 million pounds in quantum technology. There's a €1 billion Euro investment in Europe. We're really at a period where I think we're having the next quantum revolution, and we're really poised to be a part of that. The great thing about photonics is that you can set up a company with a modest amount of capital. My vision is that if we're successful, we'll have an ecosystem of 20, 30, 50 companies all working in the photonics area, supporting each other. There's no doubt that our, our research is, is not just world class, it's at the top of the world class. What my mission is though, is to actually translate that into uh, having world class industry as well. And that's ideal because New Zealand has the smart people and it doesn't have a vast amount of capital. So what better match could you have? On the one hand, you can think of uh, light interrogating a material and telling you something about it. On another, you can think of light doing something to a material, even controlling the movement of a material. There are a large number of ways in which these new technologies can either make existing problems easily solvable or can introduce more efficient ways of working with existing industry. Effectively, we provide a quality control methodology for any industry that's trying to process one material into something else. At the same time, we're developing our own industry around that to build the sensors, to build the devices that will actually make these measurements. You can have a look at almost any type of sample, whether it's like cheese, fabric, pharmaceuticals, anything really. We also work with companies that do bone surgery. We work with companies that make sensors, gas quality sensors, air quality sensors. There we've developed technology that can dice alumina chips better than anyone else in the world. We've been involved also in temperature sensing, pressure sensing. In fact, you can sense just about anything. When industry comes to us with a problem, we assemble a team around it that's focused on that as a challenge. The big advantage for us is having access to a diverse group of experts that enable us to brainstorm as a group and find unique solutions to a particular problem. It's been fantastic to be able to speak with people who have genuine expertise in this area. The equipment we're using is more and more complicated all the time, so it's very important to have some kind of smart oversight on those technology trends, otherwise we will get left behind. The key thing we provide to New Zealand industry are people, highly numerate people, people who can take a problem and break it down into a mathematical problem, solve that problem and, and really provide a solution. We have five universities in the Dodd Wall Center and about 30 top researchers. It's a great resource for us and it's a great resource for New Zealand industry. You have all these people who are experts who are essentially now facing outward and saying, bring us your challenges, we're happy to help you solve them.